kind of like how the comp fits together. Score is talking with Doran, and it's an R5. Is it the Aatrox? Oh. Uh, it's not the Aatrox. He's having a, a very deep conversation about just picking Jax again. I know. I was really hoping that maybe the conversation meant we were going to see some good old classic Doran, R5 Aatrox, my LCK. <laughs> it was the one thing I've been missing, you know? Imagine if KT won Worlds with their own lo old logo. Uh, imagine if they won Worlds. That's why um, we've got a bit of engage here by Peter. Does find a really nice double stun. Very and similar to what just autoing with Molten Shield is over here. Okay, got another engage here on the pace. Going down very, very low. Does have to cleanse. On. And He's gonna have to have a good spell shield here. Definitely is. Let's see how this one's going to go as Pays just, just presses walking e out and runs away. Delight at full health. Let's see whether this one's going to work out. There's the grand entrance as he does manage to Battle Dance his way out. There's a flash. Battle Dance again as Bladewell comes forward and Pays. Oh, the dust when he turns around. Oh, no. I think he might have died anyway as Doran had teleported in. Uh, now Peanut is here as well. Let's see whether the Vault Breaker is going to work. There it is. Connects onto Sylvie, who will be taken down. Another grand entrance comes in as Peanut at full health is looking to kill every member of Nongshim that is still in the vicinity. Void Seeker comes through and he... <laughs> oh, that was almost sadder than the Peanut one from game one. But don't got Peanut. Making his way around. There is the cease and desist. Oh. And he got level six so quickly. And the Samira is very dead on the bottom side of the map. You blink and you could miss it. Just getting it flattened. Yeah, Dundun's going aggressive here. Goes all out onto Doran, who's now getting Cassante quite aggressively, and it doesn't matter. As that is going to be a paranoia, but Leap Strike going to get Doran out of there, and he doesn't! Oh, the last auto attack is not enough, and Sylvie can't even get it. Doran not going to make that mistake. No, he's not. He... Okay, that's another clone broken. Um, there are four people. Peanut's up here, too. I mean, this could be a disaster. Oh, Delight also coming up. All right, well, let's see whether they can kill Doran in time. There goes Shelly. They should be able to grab the turret if they would like to as Doran dives in, does get a bit of a stun there as they want to be able to kill it. They deny the charge! The Herald to try to engage on the turret first and then lose the Herald and oh man, now it's actually going to be a trade-off potentially. Well, Paranoia does come through there as they're looking to try and lock them down. Pretty durable is the Jax, but he does eventually go down. A one-for-one one in the end is Peanut back underneath the turret. There is the S-Rank, but it gets interrupted immediately. Still, it doesn't matter as the dash goes through, but Delight, no damage, and there are minions still Still here, you're not going to have the turret aggro, and the turret going to fall down on the bottom side. That's in first the break. Uh, what? Delight. Okay, delight. Just, just. just wait, wait, no, 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 no! It's going. No, 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 Oh, that's the no, light no, POG. No, 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 that's no. the light POG right there. That's the recon damage that we're looking for. Oh boy! All right, well, they they actually juggle the turret aggro pretty well. Yeah, um, really nice. Like Jindun tanks it up, then it trades over to Sylvie. He takes that one extra one. Look at how low he gets. Um, unfortunately, that will ultimately be his demise. He says from here on out, it's okay. And then oh, we skipped a little bit, and then he just stayed in Delight's W range. Then Sylvie's like, hold on, I got this. Yeah, no, yeah. um, actually, you don't. And he then he's leaving. Cool. <laughs> and also calling out yeah, the, yeah. The, the flash on just the knock. Maybe, off. you know, we get Dr. Manhattan, he could just turn me into goo. <laughs> and maybe actually we can just keep it a why secret. We, why are we just Watchmen all of a sudden? There's, okay, Sylvie. Um, trying to steal things away. Vault Breaker is going to come through. Delight, the scariest man on the rift, going to come through as there is the massive amount of disengage, but it's not enough as Fiesta is now going to get dove on. Pays now here is going to break his stopwatch as Dundon's going to turn up. Another Vault Breaker going to connect. Pays is really dead in the first fight that he's really been a part of as Doran comes on over and just slams down the lamppost. That's a double kill for the Jax as Chovy is booking it to the fight as he's just escorted out. Tibbers comes with him though, and so I don't think this is one that Dundon really wants as never mind, he's going back in once again. And this Drake is not taking very much damage. You can see Delight moving on over, looking for Fiesta. Teleport to come in. They do not want to give this up. Peanut standing in the brush, standing out of vision, as now they're going to close in. Doran is so scary right now. Peanut gets right next to this Drake. As Paranoia comes forward, Dindin looks for the fight, but they just pile in on top of Jiwoo. They take down the Rakan, but it does not seem to matter. 
The Nocturne is gonna die, and now Fiesta is gonna get dove on. The flash over from Paces. His auto attack goes all the way around the world and then kills the LeBlanc. He will then finish off the rest of Wolf, back to you. Um, you know, I, I think that that's less good. Now, Atlas, I can confirm they are losing a lot. Ah, thank back you very you. much. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are also teleporting a lot. Vinden is being in the sky a lot, as is Sylvie, who dives in on top. They do manage to take down the Cassante, but now Doran's in amongst all of them, but maybe that's where he wants to be, and it is. Killer Instinct comes down from Paze. He locks down one of the kills, as in the meantime, the backline gets wiped out, and Paze just looking for a Void Seeker. Does not quite find it there. He's um, pressing E to run fast. Hold on, is he going to go back to the clone? <gasps> uh, oh, he does. Him. Jukes him. There you go. Very tricksy. Very tricksy. I said it was a clone. It's not really a clone. It's just a distortion hole. Or you <laughs> the distortion hole. Oh, the distortion <laughs> shadow. Did you actually go up? To <gasps> uh oh, sneaky. Oh, my right, God. Demo. It's a horror movie. There's the flash. The chains are broken voluntarily. Does He, have, he doesn't have killer instinct. Didn't even have James McLeod to follow to pick, pick which way to go. Like, no, exactly. Um, as Delight is walking, uh, and and now he's running. Way now he's running. Peter. He wants to try. Doran's there. They know it. They're like, Doran doesn't have flash. Do we go for this? I don't think you go for this. Oh, They're going. He has paranoia. He's not able to take down the Baron. And uh, now the engage comes through. Another phenomenal grand entrance from the Rakan. As Peter, he magnet storms to the grave. Dundon gonna be able to get over the wall, but oh, Peter! He's gonna catch him in the air! And there's the Vault Breaker. Uh, Void Seeker is going to miss, so Dundon's gonna walk, walk, walk. Another Vault Breaker comes through, and Peanut's gonna lock that one down. Man, Scott. 10, 1, and 10! What? Yeah, it's um. Uh, Peanut, are you okay? He's he's doing big he's doing big numbers. He's got the as he kills Kobe. big assists. Oh, oh, oh. We are going to see it, and Peanut's like, no more of your shenanigans. Bear is going to be dropped. Trovi did not quite have the uh, stun charge. This Fiesta is having. He's Hold the only on. one on Nongshim having a great time this game. I don't know if he's having a great time, but he's having a less he's having bad a time. time. He's. he's... I mean, they're going to chase him long enough for Peanut to have his ult back up again. As wait, wait, he gets wait. fleet footwork and then oh. punch. So, you know, I, I feel like my end of the deal is done. So, uh, I'm just going to take the headset off and... Uh, <laughs> uh, is, am I finishing? Uh, no, 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 I'm not actually going to take oh, okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. I like to keep my job, but... All right, cool, cool, cool. But I, I was fired already, so I, I'm, I'm free to do what I want. Uh, as Doran is going to look to engage onto Sylvie here, who just explodes. Fiesta's diving in. Jiwu, oh my goodness, not going to be able to rank up on that one, I don't think as Doran is just so huge. Peanut diving forward once again. Doran may dive or may just break a stopwatch here as we're representing IG momentarily. There is the Magnet Storm. They managed to lock down the kill onto the Rel though. And Dundon, he'll land a Q or two. But Genji's wallets are so incredibly large that there is no getting through them whatsoever. Fiesta, no shenanigans to be had on his fountain and the Nexus will go down 29 to five.